hi, here's, hi, Hollers, this is my other installment that I'm doing. <clears throat> um, I was talking to somebody, and it came back up in a conversation about the word surviving. Now, us as grown-ups had to survive right now. If you were born from any age from beginning of time until, like, 2000, you had a different life, okay? It was different. After 2000 and up, it was really different. And you can't go without your phone or you, you got to be in constant communication, things like that. But we're not going to talk about that technology part. What I'm going to talk about is human instincts and what we've all been taught to believe, which is not a true thing. The word surviving. If you're surviving, you're not living. If you're surviving, you're not thriving. If you're not thriving, you're not living. So if we're surviving, if let's say... Let's say 60% of the country is surviving and the rest is thriving. That means they can go on vacations, they buy their kids clothes, they can have celebrations, they can buy more than ramen noodle to eat, they can actually afford more than in a one-bedroom studio with three kids. That's thriving. Surviving, see, back in the day, we had these things, I survived a garden hose, I survived having to be home when the lights came on, I had to survive during this and our kids can survive too. No, honey, you need to start learning. Science has changed and parenting has changed a lot to the fact that we know now if we ignore our children, bad shit happens. We know now if we raise them in a certain way, even if we raise them a certain way, they won't always turn out that way, good or bad. It doesn't matter, but people seem to don't understand human nature. If you are surviving, you're not thriving. And if you are surviving, you're not living. You can only live if you're thriving. The American people and the people around the world, most of them are not thriving. They are surviving. And the reason they are surviving and not thriving is because their government and congressmen and people that we elect to be our leaders and that we physically pay with our hard-earned ass money. And all they do is stomp on it and redecorate their houses and their mansions and offices where we're sitting here on Skid Row ain't got nowhere to live because you got one bad, your score isn't high enough. Everyone is about a score. That's not a person. Homeless person, most people don't even know. Most people lose their fall walls over a job or a partner or a child having an issue or a sickness in the family and you just lose your fall walls and now you're just worthless. The world sees the world as this horrible, horrible place and it could be so beautiful if they gave you shit. When I talk about Finland, and Fran, um, not Finland, like Finland and, and places and Sweden and certain places where they actually do take care of their people. And I keep hearing the same regiment over and over again is that they have less people. Okay. Let's pretend Finland had more people. Do you think that's more money going into the government or less? Do, 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 do. It's more money going in. And if you take care of your people and your people are happy, they'll get their asses off and work for you. Okay? When you treat someone from the beginning of first working to the last day like they're replaceable and everything they do to strive to make your corporation better, your bigger picture better... And you tell them cancer is not a reason to miss work. Your car being broken is not a reason to miss work. Your kid being sick, you being sick. Literally, can you come in when there's a snowstorm and there's 10 feet of snow? No, I can't because you are really risking. I could sue your ass for asking me to come in in a dangerous mother nature situation. I was living in Florida for most of my life, half my life, from 16 to 27. And then, I'm sorry, 16 to 21 and then 27 to 30 something. Anyways, the point is, if you're scraping, you don't have extra to enjoy your life. If you're surviving, you don't get to taste the steak the same way. You don't get to eat a leftover the same way. You don't get to throw food away. When you're surviving, you're not actually living because you are so pushed down by society and what they are told that we are supposed to be, how we're supposed to live, how we're supposed to look, how we're supposed to act, breed, raise, parent, uh, coerce. I mean, literally, there is so there's books on zombie survival that people take more seriously 
than if we have corrupt people in the government. People care more about a basketball player than they do about foster children. That's a problem with society. We will hold people who can do something fantastic that nobody else can do up. And we're told them that they were heroes. But average people can only be heroes if they do something amazing. But average people do amazing things all the time. Just nobody ever sees the damn things because they're too busy in their houses trying to feed their kids and take care of everything else and trying to find a sitter and everything else that they don't have to try and fucking live and just take five goddamn minutes. We don't get allowed, we're not allowed to live anymore because we can't take that time to sit with our family. We don't have time to not be stuck to our phones. We don't have any of this and we're stuck believing this is the way life is supposed to be because we are told this from birth. If you're not thriving, you are not living. If you are surviving, you're not living and you're not thriving. We need to learn to thrive and we can't thrive if a system is broken. If we don't ourselves as people rise up to these other people and tell them we are not thriving so we're not going to be your slaves anymore. We're not going to wait on you hand and foot and wipe your asses because your toilet's unclogged and you just don't want to unclog it because you don't know how to use a plunger and you have to call somebody for $50 an hour in the middle of the night because you took a big fat shit. You can't clean it up but a plumber can. And the problem is, you'll bitch about it like it's the whole day's ruin, but you don't seem to realize that's your shit they're cleaning up. We're cleaning up your garbage. Start treating people a little better. Everybody needs to start doing this. Look at a human being as a human being, not as a piece of trash because of how much money they make or what clothes they wear. You don't know that person. If they start showing their ass and looking like a dumbass, then fine. They're showing their ass up. But don't be judging people by their fucking books. Don't, because you have no goddamn clue the hero that could be next to you could save your life, even if they don't make a certain amount of money. Think about it. Surviving is not living. Surviving is not thriving. We need to thrive.